And welcome back to Oom Jammer Lammy, folks, in the last part. We successfully put out a fire and got ourselves in, uh, this after-school sale. I still don't get that logic. Where it's like, also, what the fuck is she spitting out? I, I have no idea. It's, it's either gum or vomit of some kind. I have no goddamn idea. I don't think I even want to know. Also, Magic Skateboard! Where you going? Give it back! Oh, man. <laughs> also, Airplane! Why do you need an airplane to go to a concert downtown? Better question, why is an airplane flying through the city? It's like, um, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. This huge ass plane is driving through all of this traffic. And, uh, freaking, uh, um. Oh god, what was his name? Uh. Oh, okay, it's, uh, Captain. Fuss and Pepper? Fuss and Pepper? I think. I, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but. Yeah, he's. It's perfectly okay with him, but. Uh, to be fair. He does have, uh, I guess, a little bit of personality, uh. Um. Deals, I guess? Like, as you saw, every time he gets hit with that control panel in the head, he switches personalities. Oh, down it. Get. Look, I told you we don't have all day. Get to work now, soldier. Uh, um, I'm not a, exactly a pilot, uh, but, uh, um... Here we go. Looky here. I'll help you fly. Mammy is such a sweetheart. <laughs> I love it how I love it how he said, you know, I'll show you how to fly when not even two seconds earlier he admitted that he forgot how to fly and that's why he's dragging her in. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like, this, you can't yeah. even keep your own continuity straight in this fucking game. <laughs> I blame the split personality. I guess, but still Maybe. Oh, and right off the bat he broke the wheel. Yeah, see, you see, look, you see, look at that! Can you imagine how many cars were run over by that huge I ass plane? Like, okay, I get, I know, silly shit was happening in the original prop of the rapper, but this is just bad shit insanity right here. It's like, there, there's suspension of disbelief, and there's get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, shit, we're getting some Grand Theft Auto V territory. Alright, but anyway, um, I should point out, like, from he from stages, uh, uh, four to six, um, okay, this- this goes back to the record- alright, th yeah, this is cool mode, as you can clearly see, um- How the hell did you get to cool mode so goddamn fast? Um, okay, well, here's the thing, um, th this goes- this goes back to, um, the whole recording process with this game, you see, at first, I was stuck with just the PS3 version, which we're currently playing, as you can see on the screen. This is the PS3 version. Mm -hmm. So, my initial plan was, I would, um, for stages 4 through 6, because on the PS3 version, I feel like, oh, okay, also including stage 7. Um, those four stages are, like, the most irritating to go through on the PS3 version because of the input lag. So, my initial plan was that for stages 4 through 6 at the, at the time, I would just try to find a way to get into cool mode and just play through all the songs. And then just leave it at that. That is until I was able to get a PS1 version, which leads me to into the next thing I want to bring up. So for stages 4 through 6, I'm going to show off cool mode, like, while I recorded the PS3 version, and then after that, I'm going to cut back to the PS1 version. Oh, well, bye, Brandon. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, was it... Was I was I was I literally doing something while you were recording this? Apparently, you probably were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like shit. Even Brandon was like, "No, fuck this shit. I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> what is this crazy shit? All right. Anyway, so this is cool mode. Like, yeah, on the PS3 version. And now after this, I'm gonna cut. I'm just to show off the actual song. The <laughs> God damn it! I okay. I will admit. Those little remarks that are, that Levy shows to um, uh, Fus and Pepper, 
because of because of his uh, um, <laughs> because it's like he's, condition. He's, he, he, yeah, he's much older than Lamy, obviously. So he, he's probably issues with his body as well. So he's like, oh my god, do you need an ambulance? <laughs> Those are actually pretty funny. Cause, but anyway, yeah, this is the yeah. Judging as you can tell from the quality, this is the PS One version, and I and I can safely show off like. The, the actual song in its entirety because, of course, the input lag in this game was meant for the PS1 and not for the PS3. So I can easily go through this song a hell of a lot better than the P in the PS1 version. Honestly, I think out of all the songs, like after the, uh, which called after the Fireman song, I think this one's actually my second favorite. This, this one is pretty cool. Yeah, this one's really catchy too. Like, I do like the guitar riffing and stuff. You know, yeah, you got like the back and forth between, you know, the screamo here and, uh, you know, when he, his derpy or whatever, I don't know what the hell you want to call that. Like, <laughs> going, going back and forth from derp to screamo, it actually works here. And plus, oh, oh, yeah. and plus the guitar response too and everything. I mean, it's like, yeah, this this is a pretty rocking one. I like this one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The 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 way that they handle the guitar in this song, and considering how how it sounds so upbeat, yeah, that is something I can really compliment with this song in particular as well. Yeah. That being said, after this song, from what I remember in the previous recordings, I actually after this song, I don't really care about the rest of the songs in this game. Really. Yeah, it's like oh, oh, I, I, I okay, don't think I don't think they're near I don't think they're nearly as memorable or they just sound a little too weird or something that I'm just like ah it's like whereas like you know I don't know I guess it's like with Prop of the Rapper you know I liked all the songs I mean yeah Chop Chop Master Onion is my favorite but you know all the other songs were really good too and they're really catchy and I can still remember and quote them I really can't do that here with Lammy it's like. I like the songs in the first half. Don't really care about the songs in the second half. Right, right. I, I could understand that. I mean, I mean, it's like, I mean, I don't want to jump ahead too far, but it's like the songs. It... Actually, actually, well, no, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll just wait till we get to certain songs. I mean, it's like, yeah, I could, yeah, it's like I could safely say that, yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm with you, like with the first half of the songs. Like, in a matter of speaking, they are catchy. Granted, not probably as memorable as Parappa the Rapper 1, but they are still good, no matter- Oh, shit. Uh... Well... <laughs> and then they died. God... Uh, pff, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that was some adventure. A, peop a thousand lives have been lost! Oh. Actually, yep. this is something I didn't bring up in the original recording. What is with them giving Lammy all of these uh, random items? You know, I was just about to mention that, yeah, so I'm really glad like, you brought that up. Uh, yeah, I, um, I didn't even notice like that in, like the first time around and everything. Because, you know, we've been like, you know, we were doing like, uh, we were doing debating and arguing and everything in the original recording. So I missed out oh, on yeah. that. So it's like, what is with the random items that the, that she's getting after the all these? Well, the, the random items that each character gives to Lammy, they're actually items that he can use, like, in the middle of a stage, which um, can uh, change, like, uh, the sound quality of the guitar. Mm, okay. Which you, which you can which I believe you can toggle with uh I believe the L L two R one button or one one of the one of those four buttons like L one L two R one and R two one of those but but either one of those buttons they have no significant importance really they just change the sound of your guitar a little bit but anyway <laughs> good thing we're in this random gu this guitar shop that just will happen to be right next to us just so that we can get a new guitar <laughs> from Paul <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Oh yeah, this part. No, 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 no. Go away. Stop. I 
know okay. We, okay, I know we've quoted John Tron a couple of times in our Let's Plays and stuff, but I don't think I've ever seen like a full blown John Tron skit actually work so well in a game like this. It's like <laughs> you, that, that, you should not have been allowed to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I'm, I'm glad you approved. <laughs> And why does she keep doing this gremlin O face before the beginning of every stage? But you know, better question. The way that she was holding the chainsaw, like if she was holding a guitar, why would she hold the chainsaw like that? Why would she hold the chainsaw like a guitar, like during that cinematic? It's like if anything, it, 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 in reality, what her her fucking left arm should be just wiped clean off. Yeah, it's like say goodbye to your guitar career, Lammy. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, actually, uh, while we're here, and, you know, because I don't give a shit about this song, I don't really care for it all that much. But, um, that being said, um, there's a point that, uh, BJ, I know, was really harping on in the original, um, in the original recording, because, you know, one of the issues that I have with this story is the story progression and everything. It's like, you know, how we're going from point A to point B and stuff. It's like, you know, before it was, okay, there was a random fire. Okay, that's beyond your control. Then there was the whole pregnancy fiasco thing. It was like, that came out of left field. I was like, what the fuck? Now we're catching a plane to go to a concert that's downtown. And then, then through her own stupidity, she left her guitar. That's where it's like, after a while, it's just like, game, where are you going with this? I mean, it's like, it just seems like you're pulling shit out of your ass to try and make up for all these levels. Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't call it stupidity. Everyone's left something important of theirs at one point lying behind. Like, you can't tell me, like, whether it be yourselves or anyone else watching, you can't tell me that you've walked out of your house and not remembered your keys or something like that. We sure did. That being said, though... The point that BJ I know is making was, and it's pretty obvious uh, at this point, is the whole joke behind this game. It's the whole fact yeah, that yeah. you know, yeah, she's got this. She's got 15 minutes to go to a concert, and she keeps getting interrupted. And that's the whole point of the levels. It's she, it's the constant interruptions. That being said, though, I get that. I get that. That's the joke. I think the joke is wearing itself out at this point. And it's kind of like I said, you know, regardless if that's the joke or not, it really does feel like they're just pulling shit out of their ass to try to explain, okay, this is why, you know, we have this level and this is why we have this level. Whereas with Parappa the Rapper, it was a lot more, it was a lot more focused, made a lot more sense, it was a lot more streamlined, you know. It, and, you know, and I think that's because, you know, I, I don't know, I just kind of get the feeling like, you know, I get the feeling, you know, they, I guess, wanted to try to outdo some of the silliness that was going on in Parappa the Rapper. And I argue that, I, I don't know if, I don't know if I want to say maybe they went too far with it, but I think they went maybe a little overboard with it, to the point where it's like, it, it, it's, it's going from beyond, you know, silly, you know, campy, good, campy goodness, which is what Parappa was known for, to just being like, you know, confusion and annoyance. Because, I mean, even if you look at, like, the, uh, Parappa the Rapper anime and everything, they toned it back down. It's like... Yeah, yeah, exactly. The way that they handle, like, the, the few episodes they were able to sub, like, in the Parappa the Rapper anime, it's like, yeah, they're silly, but, yeah, it's nowhere to this extent. I mean, with Oom Jammer Lamy, it's like, yeah, it's like, I feel like it's one of those cases where it's like, yeah, it's a kid's game, and it's supposed to be cartoony and wacky, I get it. But at the same time, though, it's like, they treat it as if it's like, you know, they don't give the, the audience who's playing this, you know, any time to let it, like, breathe or let everything sink in. It's like, the moment you beat one stage, that they just throw all this stuff at you. With, right. with, hard, with hardly any pauses. Yeah, I mean, it's like, there is a way you can do insanity right. I mean, look at Chuck Jones and Tex Avery. These are the guys that were doing, like, your classic, like, Looney Tunes and everything. I mean, th those guys know how to portray cartoon insanity. But even they knew that in the short running times, they knew when to take breaks. So that way, when this, they continue on with the insanity, 
it still feels, you know, it still feels fresh. It's not like, right. you know, it's it's not like, you know, oh my god, it's constant, it doesn't stop and it just loses its punch after a while, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh, all right, but with that, uh, that'll do it for part two of Oob Jabber Lamby. So, yeah, thankfully, yeah, um, we were able to get ourselves a brand new guitar. <laughs> yeah, even with Paul Chuck let some teenager operate machinery like a chainsaw. So, all right, well, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. All right. Yeah, really. But, but, without, like... without, without proper training, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, man, yeah, join us next time, folks, as we, uh, get into even more of these Oob Jerilemi mind fucks, and you'll see what I mean next time, so see you guys then. Me, a greedy girl, ain't ya? Oh, please, I'll do anything. Anything? Oh, no. What? <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Oh god, no. Oh god, you're busting out the John Tron. Oh god. What is now again, I get the joke. I get the joke, but at the same time, it's like, uh, I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. Oh, good <laughs> What the hell is happening? But and I would like to remind you that the, uh, the phallic-looking chainsaw says bite me on it. <laughs>